What's up guys, Coach Ashley here again with another like new workout series video. Um, today, the muscle groups we're going to be focusing on are our biceps, which is right here on your arm. We're going to be doing some quadricep work, which is this muscle right here on the front of your leg. We're going to be working our abs, which are right here. And then last but not least, we'll also be working our chest, which is right here. So, let's quickly go over the moves that we're doing today. Maybe we'll put feet on knees. Then I'll give you guys time to gather your equipment and stretch because I've already stretched myself. And then we'll get started. So the first move we're doing today is a bicep you know shoulder press. For that one, I'm using. I would have said pounds. something else, but I don't want to. Um, you can use more. You can use less. But for that one, you are going to kind of need a weight of some kind um, for that one to really be effective. So any kind of weight you have, it could be a kettlebell um, or a dumbbell, something you can hold. Then for our quads, we're doing all the way one set up. So you don't need to wait for that one. For our abs, we're doing our jackknife sit ups. You don't need any equipment for that. If you're on a hard floor like me, you might want a mat, um, but that's up to you. Then for our chest, we're doing a push up. I will be doing a push up on my knees. You could do just a regular push up, but again, you won't need any equipment for that unless you want a mat. And then last but not least, we're going to finish it out with a dumbbell sumo squat, which for that one, I am using 12 pound dumbbells for that. Um, and for that one, you don't have to have a weight for it to be effective, but you can use dumbbells, medicine balls, kettlebells, anything that can add weight if you so wish. So, I will give you guys the time to go ahead, get your water, charge, scatter your materials, and I'll see you back here when you're ready. Remember to breathe, remember to keep checking your form. When we're doing weights, it's not always all about speed. That slow and steady wins this race.
And he did it in the pickle shoes. Like he was shut. And she was talking to him. All right, the only one. You got an SS. Sorry about that one, guys. The yeah, other I used had a small punch in it there. But we got a fist. I'm pretty good now. Remember to breathe, check your form. In three, two, one, rest. Remember, let your arms be lifting on this one, your back. Your legs should all be standing straight up, nice and still. And your arms are what is doing the movement and the work on this one. And three, two, one. Have your rest. And we've got our last round of this one coming up here. And then we'll move on to a different exercise here. And three, two, one. Here we go, we're right into it. Remember we work when it's work time. And we can rest during rest time. Keep breathing. Keep having your form. You're doing great. Hang it in there. And rest. All right. We are done with that one. And we'll be moving on to our next exercise. Which is our alternating lunge jumps. So let's get right into it. Three, two, one. Here we go. This one's going to get your heart rate up. This one's really going to burn. So it's important you pace yourself. And if you need to stop, shake it out for a second. You can do that. And then you need to get right back into it. Remember, don't get better by doing easy things. We get better by doing the things that are hard and the things that challenge us and push us outside that comfort zone. And three, two, one, and nine. With that set of those, three more. And three. Two, one, right back into it. I don't know about you, but I definitely feel at this point, and you should be as well if you don't. And rest. Halfway 
down with that one. Keep hanging in there for me. I know that one's tough. I know it's hard, but it's gonna make you better. Here we go. Remember to keep breathing. And whatever you do, just don't totally stop. Don't totally give up. Keep pushing. Keep working at it. Three, two, one. Good work, guys. We only have one more round of that one. And then we'll move on to another exercise. Your heart rate should be pretty elevated. Your quads should be on fire. And if they're not, then you need to do it more. As you sign, you're taking a few too many breaks. If you're not breathing just a little bit hard, you need to push it harder. And done. Good work on that one, guys. Like I said, I know that's a tough one, but I promise hit in a good one. All right. Let's move down to the floor, down to our mat. Jack, nice sit ups. Here we go. This is a great time to catch your breath. Remember to keep breathing. When we do abs, we want to hold our breath a lot. Don't hold your breath. Just breathe. Flip to your knees. Or just in a push up position if you're not doing it on your knees. Here we go. Again, remember, check your form and make sure you're breathing. And rest. We'll be doing our duck nice sit ups next. So flip back over for those. You guys have been rocking it so far. Thanks for joining me today and for making yourself just a little bit better. Here we go. Two, one. We're going to do it. This one requires a lot of core strength, a lot of strength, a lot of 
of focus and a lot of balance. And remember, it's not how fast we do it. It's just, are you doing it properly and correctly for the time given? And if you're doing that, then you're doing just fine. Here we go, push-ups. Three, two, one. Right into one. When you're doing your push-ups, really make sure you're checking your form. Your back should be flat. Your body lowers together. And it raises together. We don't want mountains. And we don't want valleys. Keep it all nice and straight. And have your rest. If you're not sweating at this point, you should be. So if you're not, you need to push yourself just a little bit harder. All right, let's get ready for our sit-ups. Three, two, one. Here we go. Remember to focus and breathe. It's really easy to want to hold your breath when you're doing abs, but don't, don't do it. It hurts you more than it helps you. Your muscles need the oxygen. That's how they get fed when you're working out. So by you holding your breath, you're actively starving your muscles, and then they can't do their job like you're trying to make them do. Flip over to push-ups. Three, two, one. Here we go. You guys are doing great so far. Keep hanging in there for me. And rest. All right, we got one more round of sit-ups, one more round of push-ups, and then we'll be done with those. And we'll move on to our last exercise of the day. All right, last round of sit-ups. Here we go. And three, two, one. Are you gonna do it? Burn, invite the bird. That's muscle building. So just relax and do it. Good job, guys. Last round of push ups. Two, one. Here we go. As you start to get tired, your form may start to suffer. So just be mindful of that, but you're constantly checking for yourself. 
Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? What can I change to make it better? Those are the thoughts that are always going through our head when we're working out. Helps keep us safe and make sure you're getting the absolute most out of your workout when you're doing it. It's okay that it feels hard. It's okay if your arms are shaking. Just push through it. Just like that, we are done with our push-ups and we are done with our sit-ups. Let's move into our last move of the day, our dumbbell single squats. If you don't have a dumbbell, medicine ball, kettlebell, they'll work the same. Grab your weights. Three, two, here we go. Feet just outside the shoulders, so it's pointed forward. Tap on the ground and get right back up. Remember when we do a squat, if you have lettering or a picture on the front of your shirt, I should be able to see it and read it. So keep that chest up nice and tall, nice and proud. Keep your head up. Keep it all nice and straight. And rest. You guys are doing great so far. Today's workout is challenging. So I appreciate you being here and giving it your absolute best effort. Because as long as you're trying your best, that's all you can do. Here we go, round two. Nice controlled movements. Guys, we'll be checking that form, checking your breathing. Listen to how your body's feeling. In three, two, one. Have your rest. Two more rounds, guys. And then we're done. Give it our all right here. Here we go. Don't walk away saying I wish I would have or I could have. Let's just make it happen. Right here, right now. Here we go. Good guys, keep pushing all the way to the end. Don't you give up now. And just like that, we have finished yet another episode in our living room workout series. So, thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I really liked it. 
Make sure you go stretch, take care of your bodies. I'm probably gonna go do some cardio myself. I encourage you to do the same. Um, maybe go for a swim, a bike, jog, walk, run, anything to get your body moving. And then if you're not gonna do that, just really make sure you stretch, hydrate, take care of yourself. And thank you again for joining me and I'll see you here on the next one.